Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. This video here, I'll be giving you guys a review and demonstration on the Metalux paint system. So I'm using the solvent based Metalux 2, which is the second generation Metalux paint system. And I'll be giving you guys a quick look at these red cans here, which is the 2K top coat as well. Um, I found these 2K top coats a little bit weak. Um, I've used better, put it that way. I, they're still a, a top quality paint, um, but they're not quite as good as some of the other ones. Um, and down the bottom here, you've got your high flow um, colors, so the whites, black, silvers, and stuff like that, the ones that you go through a lot. And these ones in the small cans are the Zeralic Pearls. Um, the expensive ones, they can range from anywhere from $100 to $200. Um, and this is our clear coat here. I'm going to be giving you guys a look at this clear coat as well. It's 9354 is the uh, product code. It's VOC 420HS. And that's just another uh, anti-static wipe I thought I'd give you guys a look at. So, up to our computer. We'll open our program here. Um, this computer is a little bit slow. It takes a little bit. So I've cut a bit of footage out there for you guys. Obviously, you've got your scales. And I'm just going to type in just a common code. F143 is uh, Sting Red. So I'll type this color in. I'm not going to actually mix it up for you guys, but um, I'll just show you how to do a search and the color tools that we have available. Um, we also have a, um, a color uh, board as well. It's got these color chips as well. Um, so we'll type there our paint code in there. You can input the manufacturer, the year, and all this other different information you like as you like. Um, there's loads of stuff that you can do on this system. You can create custom colors. You can mix up your clears and your primers through the scales as well. So just everything that you've come to know with your um, most of your uh, paint systems. So you all, you, when you type that color in, it's a solid color. So it's come up with the base coat variants, two variants, and also come up with two variants for the 2k so what we can do here we can click on one of each we can then click the compare tab there and it'll give us a look at which tinters are in each color so straight away if you guys uh, have already seen the standox review and demonstration you'll probably remember that the standox has definitely got more powerful color tools with it um, it will actually bring up left and right and it'll actually show it give you a visualization of how your color looks compared to what the database has. Uh, they do have a spectrophotometer available through the Metalux range. However, it's nowhere near as good as the Standox one. All this one does is picks the variant. It won't actually shade it, add and uh, subtract any uh, tinters as it sees fit. So next up, we'll type in the amount that we want to use. We'll then, I just chose half a litre, tick that little RFU box, <coughs> so that will, in, that will tell me which reducer I want to put in. It's up to you, whichever reducer you run. Click the reducer you want, click on the mix, race, mix the um, mix button there, and then that will um, come up to the scales. So, You've got labels that you can print, you can add notes, you can save it as a custom color if you want to come, be able to come straight back to that in the future. And then we go and mix it up. <clears throat> so this will link up with the scales and you'll be able to mix it straight off the computer screen if you wish to do it that way. You could also do it straight off the scales. So as you can see there, I'll go back down to my scales and as I put, put weight onto those scales there, that will move on the computer as well. If you guys did miss the um, Standox review and demonstration, um, make sure you check that out. There's a link to that at the very end of this video, so make sure you do check that out. So what I'm doing here, um, this system basically, we, we got to, into this workshop and it was already there. And I wasn't really wanting to top them all back up because it was going to cost about $2,000 to replenish all the tinters back up to a full usable system. Now, I've had another guy turn around and say, I can give you a full system, every single tint of full, for $2,000. So, um, yeah. I've found that these um, Metalux guys, in Perth anyway, they really try hard to sell their product. I mean, the way I say it, a good product should just be able to sell itself. You shouldn't have to badmouth other people to, to make your product look good. I don't like the reps, so the way I say it, I'm not going to buy their product. Um, they are quite overpriced. Um, here in Perth, we do pay a high price of paint. We're in a very isolated city. 
Um, we pay dangerous goods, transport taxes, all that kind of stuff. We basically just pay a Perth tax for everything over here. And um, look, it's, it's not one of the best paint systems I've used, mainly the color tools. As you can see there, it's application, it's just, you know, it's in line with any of the other top quality paints, you know. Um, good coverage, easy to use, they've got good quality primers, good quality clear coats. Um, and look, I find a paint system is one of those things that you really need to use every day, a couple of times a day for sort of three or maybe two or three weeks or something like that until you really get the hang of that system. Um, so I haven't spent that time with this system to get good at it. So um, I do apologize if there's, uh, you know, <clears throat> some Metalux users, they, they might swear by it. Um, but yeah, in my experience, I have used better systems. Um, and it's not as cheap as what you might think. To me, it's like they're stuck in between. It's like they used to be cheap, but they're trying to push their name up, but they're not they're not quite up there with the uh, some of the what more better known German brands like Standox, Space Hacker, Glazer, all those kind of um, more top quality paints. Uh, from what I know, I'm pretty sure it's a South African owned company originally, but I hear that the uh, water based line in uh, Metalux is made in the US. So. Um, yeah, I would really like to know your guys' opinion on this paint. Um, and yeah, I mean, get out there, give it a shot. If you're looking into getting a system, do your pricing, go to your local, um, you know, auto shops. Uh, you know, get some samples out there, see what you think of it. But for me, if it was a high flow workshop, I'd probably stick away from it and go with uh, something more like Glazeret or Standox or something like that. They're just uh, two of the big paint systems that I've used and I really highly recommend them mainly for their color matching because when you've got uh, your technician spending hours and hours color matching these colors um, that's lost that's money that you're losing every minute that it takes you to color match you could be in the booth painting that next job and have your technician uh, having the next job prepped up so here we go on with our clear this was the VOC 420 HS um, it's it's a quite a good quality clear. I find it straight out of the can. It's very thick, even in the hotter months uh, when it's obviously going to be a bit more viscous, so it's going to be thinner naturally from the heat. Um, I find it still wants that 10% reducer. Um, I have used this on a few other jobs where I used to work. They they tried getting their product into the previous workplace where most of you guys saw all of my old videos done at that Standox workshop. They gave us all these samples, and we basically ended up just deciding, you know what, we're probably going to be better off with Standox. Um, so we stuck with Standox, and I think it was probably the, uh, the best decision for us anyway. So um, I did use some of these clears and some of their primers, and I just found that they were, um, yeah, just very hard to polish, and a bit, they sort of went on like glue, you know. Um, I hear their platinum clears are really good. I've had, heard a few good reviews from them. But it's, it's one of those things that um, they're no cheaper than the, um, the standoffs and stuff like that. So it's like, well, why use a brand name that's, you know, not as well established and not as well known when you could use something that's, you know, if, 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 you're, if you've got a workshop and you've got a standoff sign out the front, I just about think, even if someone's not a spray painter, they know that that's a good quality paint. Whereas Metalux, they've came from the cheap, they have totally reformulated, their, their prices have definitely gone up, so they're trying to bring up a new image, and um, I just don't think that they're quite to the uh, standards that some of the other ones are. Okay, so this car that you see me painting those bumper bars off, it's a HJ Monaro, um, so yeah, it's got the um, GTS stripes down the side that we painted on it, and this is just a bit of an ending for you guys. Um, not quite finished in this uh, video here. It still needs probably another day's worth of polishing on it. Apart from that, it's just about done. Uh, hopefully another day and we'll get uh, get this car gone. Hopefully in the future I'll be making a couple more videos on this car for you guys too. So um, make sure you hit that sub button if you haven't already. Check me out on Facebook and everything else. Um, I've got links in my description to my Facebook page. and. Uh, yeah, make sure, you're, as always, hit that big thumbs up button, comment, and share my videos around with your friends. 
So there you go, we painted all of those trims that I know they're not meant to be painted, but they were damaged and he just wanted a way to fix them, so he decided to paint them black. So there you go, thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman Production. Goodbye.